Well, I started out as a student here, the same studio that I own. It's a different location now, but it's the same studio. I went in to take dance lessons because I knew how to swing dance, but that's all I had. So went in, took a couple of lessons, they offered me a job. Ultimately, I started working for them part-time, then full-time, then two months later I was a manager, a year and a half later I bought the studio. So we, we have a three-method system for teaching, basically. We have private lessons, or personal lessons, I'd say. And then we also have group lessons. They take place, we have a group lesson at least one every day of the week, uh, with the exception of Sundays. And they're different levels, different dances, uh, gives you a chance to interact with other people, see how your lead follow skills have developed. Uh, and then on Friday nights, every Friday night we have a party. Uh, they're different themes. Uh, they last from 7.45 until 9.30 at night. And it's a chance to get out there and socialize and dance with people who are learning how to dance. And then once in a while we'll take it out on the town and we'll find a venue somewhere that's got a live band and take all of our students there and go dancing instead. And it's, it's one of those things that often people forget exist as far as a social activity, especially couples. And it gives them a chance to come out, do something together. Uh, and it's a nice way to kick off the night. And we have a pretty eclectic group of people here, everything from 20s. I mean, I've actually got a five-year-old girl who takes lessons, but primarily up in the 20s to 70 years old. And at the end of the night, on a Friday night, you'll see they'll all take off together and go somewhere else, too. One of my students, her name's Pat. Um, Pat came in, and she could barely dance for a 20-minute lesson, and she had to stop. She had terrible arthritis in her knees, and she was overweight, and a lot of issues with her back and legs. Uh, in the time that she's been dancing with me, uh, she w she's had two knee replacements and a back surgery, all of which her doctor said would never have happened had she not lost the weight she lost while she was dancing. And now she dances better than she ever danced before. And nobody really comes in because they want to become some world champion dancer. Um, a lot of times they come in for physical fitness, for a social outlet, things like that.